like jumping off the planet. You stretch your right arm out from the heavens just to grab me. Like I'm not done with you yet. I know you feel the weight of the world and how wicked it is. Poison in the food, riding bikes and snoo, dumbing down the youth, gentrified the hoods, helicopter boom, another sacrifice. Different name, different life, recognize the signs. Mind alone, just to know I could be entertained by a clone watching TV. Used to think my imagination needs sanitation, but they really that evil. My heart is aching for the promised land, for an honest plan that could rid us from the evil in this devil's land. Waiting for you to crush all your enemies until that day I just cling to thee. My sanity, love to me, helping me through the day from things I see. And when I'm stuck, I'm feeling down. It is you keeping my feet close to the ground. I've been through hell as a people, never got therapy. Wait, there's an older black man shaking violently at the bus stop, and he's shouting out a grunt. Coming at his mouth with saliva and stuff. Should I get out the car? But my ruach said, pray. Father, give the man rest. Cast the demons away. Eyes closed, tears running down my face. Cause he looked like a puppet on the string. Out of his mind, my heart burned at the light. Waiting for it to turn. People to discern. What will we learn? That's a picture of us. Cause we won't return. There's only one remedy. What's going on, everybody? Hadassah Queen O. And Cameron Joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give us a second as we're getting set up. Uh, hope everybody is doing well out there. Man, we are just happy to be with you guys again. We love doing this show. Uh, as you can tell by the title of the show, Embracing and Respecting Creativity. And um, before we get into that, we're just trying to get my sister's uh, microphone together. All right, give us one moment, okay? We, 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 we'll be right with you. What's going on, everybody? Sis, you there? Yes, ma'am. All right, turn, let's turn you all the way up. For those who are in the chat and live with us, do, do us a favor, especially if you're on Podbean, just put a one in the chat if you can hear us, hear myself and my sister. That'd be very helpful. Uh, we see Fanboy is here. What's going on? Who's entered the live audio? What's going on? Let us know if you can hear both of us clearly. That would help us out. We're having a little bit of a... Little technical difficulty to start. 
Yeah. It's all we're good. Here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we said we were going to be. We are so excited to bring you just an awesome show. It's going to be awesome tonight, you guys. Yeah, feeling good, feeling good. So uh, hopefully everybody can hear, you know, hear us and stuff. Um, if you come in and you're unable to hear both of us clearly, please let us know in the chat. We don't want to, um, you know what I mean? So, all right. <laughs> Who chow? How y'all doing out there? Hopefully everybody's doing well. As you can see, the, uh, title of our show tonight is, uh, embracing and respecting creativity um before we jump into that we wanted to do just a little housekeeping but the music that i was actually playing that first cut tell me how y'all like that it's called sanity it's on uh my record coming uh freestyle record coming out um freestyle yeah. Worship. yeah coming out soon so mm -hmm. be looking on itunes and everything for that um but uh yeah you let's let's just take care of a couple of things if you're um, you know, wherever you're listening to this, we know that some people are in the Podbean app where you can call in, which is awesome. Uh, share it with your friends, if you don't mind. If you're listening to this on Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, you know, definitely follow us, call in, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff, because we're two females who love what we do. And yeah, <laughs> we love what we do. And we love we love to inspire you know, through our stories, encouragement, and our music. So um, that's kind of who we are. Shalom to Anthony, who just entered the chat. Let us know by just putting a one in the chat, if you don't mind, guys, uh, that you can hear both my sister and I clear. I'm Queen. And I am Cameron Joy. And we are Open Writers. That's right. OpenWriters7.com if you want to check us out. Hi, Anthony. How are you? So good to have you um, here with us on the Open Writers Show. That's right. That's right. Got some fellas. I know that's right. And we love our sisters, too. We love our fellas. We love our sisters. We love our families. Yeah. We love our, our kids, our children. Mm -hmm. You guys, we just you know have a heart for the people. That's for sure. Yep. So we come on here every week at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to... Uh, you know, share a little, share a little, laugh. Uh, uh -huh. Sometimes we get deep with our subjects. And sometimes we, you know, like you said, we like to laugh. And right, exactly. And a lot of times you'll catch us definitely playing music because like we said, we are artists. Right. Uh, we're music artists. We've been doing this thing, you know, uh, for a while and, and we're just really passionate about it and we love it. And we just love sharing we love sharing with you guys, that's for sure. We do, we do. So, um, just a couple of minutes and we'll get going, okay, you guys? How's your uh, weekend been and everything so far? So good? I know it's a lot of crazy stuff going out there in the world, like always, but what we do is focus on what is going right. Sometimes if you focus too much on what's going wrong and this and that and this and that, you end up being ungrateful. Right. I already got checked this week for being ungrateful just in my own private, quiet, spiritual time. And I had to repent for that. But um, you can look around at all the negativity and really get consumed by it. I think that's a trick of the enemy, too. What you think, sis? Like being consumed with negativity. It's like peek in, but then keep going and keep your head up. You don't want to end up getting hopeless. Exactly. Yeah. Because, you know, when you, you look around every everywhere we turn. Honestly, it's some negativity. Yep. You know, you um, look at the news. Right. You know, like we're talking about, it's negative. You look at society, the way that society is um, trying to make us not even be ourselves, to, but to be a certain way in order to make it in this world. That's right. Which is a lot. <laughs> you see all these different things and it's um, very disheartening. But... Um, that's another thing that, that we want to do, too, is just bring positivity and encouragement and light. That's right. Um, that's why we're on here, you guys. There's a better way. I mean, reality is there's a lot of things that, that are in the world. I mean, it's, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. But um, we, we definitely want to provide an alternative for people who do actually want to try to keep their heads up. 
Right. Exactly. That's it. That, and that's all it's about for us. We know we were, we know that, you know, some people are drawn to drama, right? Okay. We all can get, look, you know, we can be looking in there, right? <laughs> but it's like, that's not what, what we were created to do. We were created, and I believe you all who are listening, because I mean, if you, you know, chilling with us tonight, listening to the open writers, you already know we like about some positivity, even though we've been through hell. Right. And even though we go through our struggles, we still want to put we we make it a priority to keep our heads up. We are all we have on this planet is us. Us, just me and you. Us. So if we can't keep each other encouraged. Who else is going to the is the Chinese keeping us encouraged? Is the Russians keeping us encouraged? They're not. I'm I'm just I'm just wondering because ain't nobody checking for us. They give everybody everything except for us. So that's why when we come on here, we want to encourage our people. We ain't racist or nothing. Y'all know that. We love all people, but we just understand that there's so many opportunities for other nationalities. And we don't really have a whole lot for ourselves. That's true. So we, you know, that's ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, we are limited. You know, we're, we're limited. I mean, and the truth is we have to work a little bit harder. And um, shalom. Shalom to... Um, Looks like Michael L. Michael L. who just came on. Welcome to the Open Writer Show. Shalom, my brother. We got to encourage, you know, we got to keep each other encouraged, you know, and not be sucked in to what this world wants us to be sucked into, <clears throat> which is the drama and... Um, the reality of it. It's, I mean, it's a good thing to know the reality, but we all, we all have a choice to choose, you know, whether we're going to be stuck into that or whether we're going to rise above that. And that's, that's kind of where we are, you know? Yeah. We want, we want our people to rise above the negativity. Out here, yeah. The negativity that's already yeah. Out here. Cause I think again, and this is not even our subject, but I think this is good, sis, is, when you're talking about rising above the negativity, I believe we can get too sucked in on negative topics, too sucked in on what the enemy is doing, too sucked in on, you know, white supremacy. And, you know, we get and it's a real thing. It's something we feel. But my my thing is, this is what I believe the most high has given us. And I believe you as well can tap into this, too. When you tap into your creative potential and that's what we talking about tonight. When you tap into what you were called to do, I'm talking about your gifts and your talents. Everybody has a gift and a talent and it looks different, right? We don't all have the same gifts and talents. But when you really start focusing on your purpose and how to use your own personal gifts and talents for the most high and for his people, man, you ain't got time to be worrying about what these devilish people is doing. They going to do their thing. It's a prophecy. Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, and you know, for some people... Look, this thing is learned. Like, it's not anything that, that you right. can learn. It, this isn't anything we can learn overnight because, you know, the reality really is still there. It's just about developing the mindset to know that it really, honestly, do y'all know? Maybe y'all do know this. Like, negativity and stress and all, all the downward stuff, it, like, literally affects your body. It's not yes. affecting your body physically. That's stress. And you can yep. see you can see that on so many of our people. Mm, help us, Father. You know, so it's like we, you know, we care enough about y'all to tell y'all that, you know, and to strive, you know, because some people honestly, that's all they've ever been around all their lives, you know. But there is still there is still hope. There is. There's still a chance to to come up and rise above that. And sometimes, uh, too. We have a blind self. We don't even. We may not even realize that that we're soaking up all of the drama and the negativity. But mm -hmm. it's just all about you know, just coming up, right? Just coming up and realizing that that's important for for our sanity, for our health. Mm, you ain't lying. For, for our purposes that we're talking about, right? You know, to be able to to tap into that purpose because every person um, does have a purpose. Yes, they and, do. And something that they are created to do that's right good point yeah we love you guys uh 
we're gonna keep telling you that <laughs> we we like two sisters who have a whole lot of love inside right but then we have this other side that's like don't play with me yeah right you ain't gonna walk over me Not but that. we love giving love out <laughs> it's awesome all right well we're gonna tap into this um you know, kind of segue, shift to this uh, embracing and respecting creativity. We were having a conversation earlier today about just our uh, individual talents and gifts and abilities and how everybody has their own spin on it, right? Everybody has their own creativity that sets them apart. Now, whether you're willing to risk putting your creativity out there to be judged, because it will be judged, we're all judged. And some people aren't comfortable in putting their true self out there because you got all these filters and it's just everything that's plastic surgery everything's so fake right that some of the authentic realest people feel like hiding their true self and I and my sister are encouraging you to tap into that creativity even if it looks weird to other people even if it's different even if it's never been done and you've been contemplating, but you know you got something special and you want to do it in a creative, a creative way. We want to encourage you to do that. Embrace that. Yeah, we actually it's funny you say that since we play uh, last week. <clears throat> go back. Uh, we encourage you guys to go back to last week's episode because we played a song called Something Special. And um, you just said that. And it's all about em embracing who we really are, who we really, how we originally were created, the way our hair naturally is, the, the, the gifts and the talents that the Most High has given us, the, um, just all of the things that, that he's given us just in grace. You know, we see social media, we see Facebook, and there's, like you said, about the filters and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the pressure to be perfect. Yes, thank you. Especially for females. Bella's, hey, I got three brothers. We got three brothers. Well, actually five total. But if we, they can throw on a cap, like one of them little, those hat, yeah. hats and like nice little t-shirt, have your kicks cool, y'all good. Crease jeans or however y'all want to wear them, right? Women have to do a lot more. They feel pressure to do a lot more. So, you know. But you know what? I uh, uh, just want to share a story, though, real quick. We love stories. <laughs> um, you know, oftentimes, you know, actually both of us um, get, we get different, you know how people will compliment you? Mm -hmm. um, take people's compliments with a grain of salt, by the way. But I just wanted to share this story. Um, of, you know, sometimes when I go out, people will comment and be like, Oh, you know, thanks for rocking your natural hair. Thank you for letting me see that natural look. Yes. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, man, this was a process to even get here to actually even want to, <laughs> <laughs> to actually even want to rock, uh, rock the natural because you, you just never know how you're going to look and all that. So right. You have to get through that. But um, it really is, like you said, it's encouraging and inspiring for some people because there's still some people out in the world that really do appreciate that. That's right. Mm -hmm. And even more so than that, it's like the way that you felt inside because you took that risk. That's it right there. And the, that freedom that comes. The way you feel it, yeah, inside. That risk is, is, is just awesome, you guys. It's phenomenal. It's like, go for it. Do it. Yeah. What's hope? What's hope? We can't be held back. We have to embrace, right, our own creativity and respect other people's. Right. Which will help us not judge each other so harshly. We judge each other so harsh. If we ain't got enough money, you know what I'm saying? If he ain't got a if he ain't got enough money or she don't look like this or you know, the name brands and just the status and, and we feel like we have to compete with each other and it's just like calm down. Let, let me tell that one I talk about a story. I ran into a well we uh ran into a guy, he was a singer, he was and he was sixty two. Okay, look great though, didn't he? Yeah, he for sixty two. Our, bl our black man. <sighs> black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, things make us crack. Unless you smoke it. Unless you right. Right. <laughs> then I don't know how you gonna be looking after that. But um, he was a beautiful black man, and uh, at sixty two, just my goodness. Um, he to make a long story short, 
his license plate when he pulled up said got music so i was like sis roll down the window let's ask him you know you you got to be a music artist right so you know i had asked him you know what's your license plate you know talking about and he explained you know he was his uncle unfortunately just passed but he was he had uh history with sam cook and he does you know renditions of sam cook and stuff so you know me i'm like hey you know spit some on the on the spot like can you sing something for us or whatever and so he went ahead and sang a song uh, uh one of sam cook's songs but uh prior to that when our conversation first started he was very um he was like he was almost like shielded he was a bit. we had to kind of soften no but that's that was, was bringing it back to my point where we can get like that defensive with one another uh right away because we don't want you to think that we don't know something or we don't want you to think we ain't nobody like he he made us he made us know right off the bat you know this is who i am he was very shielded and then we layers started to come off as we began to talk to him which was awesome because then he let everything down like it was like we was just cool it's like yeah you ain't gotta we don't have to do that with each other it, it's okay i understand we want to protect ourselves from each other because we have hurt one another let's be real we have done some some crazy things to one another as a people but you have to live in forgiveness because we're not going to all do everything perfectly because of the trauma that we have mm -hmm. on a daily basis so it's like it was nice for us to be able to kind of smooth them out a little bit and just let them know like we respect you bro like you sound great like it's all good like we know you know the business we were affirming him like you don't have to bring your guards up with us at least now i know we not the average women though you know we're special women that the most high has created different right but nonetheless we were glad that we had a chance to let him just be himself especially out here in atl you know everybody's somebody yeah so it's, it's almost like you have to you, you literally have to kind of be in that mode because you don't know who people are um you know and you you want to display a certain you know confidence and you want to protect your craft your art and, and all of that so right I, we understand why people do that but you know you're right that's that's a great story um of us just here we go again back to being authentic yeah being who how the most high really created us to be right how that allowed him to open up and to you know start letting his guards down mm. and realize like like bro we the same color it's all good we know we right. know how our people can be right but we respect you right exactly you know, as long as we have that mutual respect mm -hmm. we're good you know so that was that was awesome yeah. that was an awesome experience mm -hmm. it, it it helps us to understand how, how to be patient with one another it's not always easy but be kind to one another have compassion because we are going through our own set of circumstances and you never know like we just found out that his uncle had passed that he was very close to he learned yeah. and studied under him and had we been like matched his initial energy it wouldn't have been a good look right, right? but we we was like you know we're humbled down and we'll you know we'll we'll show some love because it's apparent that he needs it Mm -hmm. And people, you know, people. Can and he hear. could sing. That was awesome too. Yeah, he was he does good. Actually, sound like Sam. He Cooper. does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was that was awesome just to hear him, you know, sing, and I'm sure he felt something just singing and getting it out. Uh huh. You know, it was cool. It yeah. Was Bust his heart. So yeah, man. Um, embracing and respecting creativity. We want to hear from you as well. Um, I see a few people in the chat and the phone lines are open. They're going to be open all night. Okay. Like I said, we're going to be here for about the next maybe half hour or so, something like that there. Uh, but the phone lines are open. If you want to call in and just voice your opinion on what we're talking about, you know, embracing and respecting creativity, why it's important to you, or maybe you have your own experiences that you want to share that could contribute to this intelligent conversation we're having. Absolutely, yeah. And when we do that and we, we learn that, we can pass it down to the next generation. Mm -hmm. Because we were talking about this uh, Learn what earlier. Now? Yeah, weren't we? Learn what now? 
You said when we learn that. Oh, when we learn, you know, that basically the when we learn how to embrace each other's creativity, okay. we can pass it down to the next generation. That's right. We can pass it down to the next generation and give these, you know, these young girls and these young guys hope. Yeah, because right now they're looking, everybody wants to do the same thing. They do. And it's like, no, 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 no. It's trendy. It's, yeah. It's, you know, it's like the likable, it's acceptable. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all that. And so it's like in your mind, you're thinking like, well, if I go to that, if I make music that's trendy, or if I'm doing something that's trendy, or even in my creativity, even if I have like an authentic, raw creativity, if I can just make it trendy. Mm. Right. You know, then I'll be liked or, you know, I'll fit into society or I'll fit into this world. And I understand that, but. The funny, go ahead, sis. Well, no, because I'm thinking like the funny thing is, remember when we didn't care if anybody really liked us? Yeah. Like in school, like when you grew up way back, Mm -hmm. you know, we, we didn't, it was like you had your friends, you had your little best friend, Uh you know, you wrote notes. (laughs) In school, it's like nobody was tripping back then. Like, it's a different generation, mm-hmm. you know. And it's not like we're 90. <laughs> it's just that the, the speed of which everything has, like, changed, yeah. it's like lightning speed. Like, we don't know. We got toddlers that know how to work these, you know, iMacs and, uh, you know what I mean? Cool. Yeah, so it's like they could be back there programming the next. It's funny because my, three, my three-year-old niece. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> This girl can, she knows how to like operate a phone. She knows how to get, a, you know, pull up the game, like the little uh, kids games on the phone and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, this girl is three years old and she knows how to operate a, a iPhone. Like, can, for real. can can we tell, tell them what else she knows how to do very well? Yes. She can quote that scripture. Scriptures. Go ahead. Sister. Like, no, I've, I've been, been a witness of it. It's amazing. Her memory of the scripture is amazing. And that obviously goes credit to her parents because they're feeding her the word. But when you see her quoting it, it's like, man, imagine all of our children growing up with that much word. They may not understand exactly what everything they're saying is, but shoot, when that word gets in them, it's going to be harder for them to depart from it. It's going to be able to guide their lives. They're going to be more secure. It's crazy. Crazy how much word she knows. And all the word is really is life. Yeah. Life to our soul. Yeah. A lamp to our feet mm-hmm. too. And a lamp to our feet. It's a it's amazing. Yeah. And so shout out to, you know, my brother and um my sister in law for that because that's an that's amazing. I just want to take some time uh to just shout out some of the people in the chat. It looks like we have uh Peter and Fawi and DW sixty one. Um, I see a couple of other people. Zebra and can't see everybody from here, but we love you guys. And if you see somebody too, um, you know, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. Even if it's just for a quick minute, you hop in, just want to see you're welcome to stay, follow us, definitely follow us, make sure you share this. So that other people can get a little bit of inspiration, a few laughs, and some encouragement stories and stuff like that. We love y'all. We do. We say that we say that often. We try to definitely spread positive vibes and just love. Yeah, but we ain't no punks. We We have to let people know that because they we don't people be trying to run over us because we so sweet. But it's like, look, we have another side. We We just yeah. Stay on our good side <laughs> and we'll treat you good. Right, yeah. So, um, but if, uh, back to, you know, just in bright, we're talking about, um, if you are just joining on, welcome to the Open Writers Show. Um, we're talking about embracing and respecting creativity. Yes, because, topic. yeah, in music and just in life. Since we're music artists, we always try to, you know, bring it home. So that it relates. Uh, and then many of you, whether you're a music artist or not, like I was saying earlier, you have something special that you've been given. You have a talent or a gift. And instead of us trying to fit, we need to just be. You know, we're so concerned with likes. 
you know, are they going to like this idea? Are they going to like what we do? Well, how about just be and then allow other people to kind of fit in where, you you know, fit themselves into your originality. How's that? Right. Yeah. I mean, because honestly, you know, people, I think, respect you more for being who you are. You'll, you'll draw those kind of people. We kind of draw like who we really are. Yeah, that's true. The same energy. We do attract the the uh, like original, authentic, and you might be that that way too. Like that's a good sign for them. Uh, you know, when I say them, I'm talking to you all who are listening right now. That's a good sign. Who are you attracting mm. in your life? You know, as it pertains to like them respecting your creativity. Are people building you up? I was just telling them, we were just talking about this earlier. Mm-hmm. If you got people, if you got an idea, fellas, sisters. If you got an idea and a project and stuff that you're working on or whatever, and you have people who are not believing, people who don't think you can do it, people that kind of have doubts, maybe they dissing, like low-key dissing or hating or or whatever the case, whatever energy it is that's not positive, I really highly recommend you decrease that energy. Okay, you may not be able to get rid of your wife or your husband, and I ain't saying that's who don't believe in you. I'm just saying sometimes it often starts within your own households. True. It's hard to get your own family sometimes yeah. on board, it's true. right? Especially if it's creative and it's different and they haven't really seen it and they don't know if it's going to work. Is it going to make money? They have all yeah. these questions. Yeah, because honestly, it, it's, uh, I mean, according to like, you know, society in the world, it's, it's really kind of out of the box. Like, it's not, it's not like your standard, excuse me, your standard uh, uh, job or your mm-hmm. You know, you're not trying to necessarily work a corporate nine to five. It's not like your cookie cutter right. kind of thing, you know, if you will. So, you know, people are just kind of like, well, you know, I don't know. Or, you know, and, and it's a normal thought to think. But, you know, if you've been given that creativity right. and you know you have a lot of it and you know you have a purpose, go for it all the way. You know who was saying something? That's a good point, sis, about uh the standard typical, which is fine. You know, some people, they're going to work, they're going to retire with a watch mm-hmm. or with they, you know, th- them checks coming in and out. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We encourage, you know, our men and our women to work hard for what you want. But I was just listening. Um, Boyce came on and he was saying the same thing. Y'all know who Boyce Watkins is. I don't agree with everything he has to say, but he has a lot of valid points on some things. But one thing he was saying is people used to say the same thing about him. I think he was like 20, 28 or something like that, still in school. And they were like, he would go to his family, uh, not reunions, but just family get togethers. And they'd be looking at him like, you know, you still in school? Like, what's going on? You you ain't got no house. He was seeing all his friends like buying houses and getting married and having children and things of that nature. And it's like, but now look at him. Now he's pretty much set for life. So sometimes not everybody, especially your family, is not going to understand. And you have to be okay with that. But I was more so talking about the energy of people who you have. Could be like relationships, stuff like that. Hey, you ain't got no ties. If you ain't got no ties, it's not like you got, you know, kids with these people or whatever. And they're just hanging around. They're not really doing much to root you on. Then that's dead weight. Right? It's true. Yeah, it is. I hate to be hardcore like that, but that's the only way that I've been able to fly as high. And I still want us to soar to new heights. That's why I put that in the description. Right. Let's talk about what it really means to embrace and respect creativity so we can all soar to new heights. It's not just about my sister and I. We're just the vessels to try to encourage and inspire you guys to be authentic and creative and creative and get the negative energy away from you so that you can be all that Yah has created you to be. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You pretty much said it all right there. That's how I do. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got to speak the truth. So mm-hmm. you got to speak the truth. you guys you know we have to rise we have to rise above our circumstances we have to rise above life we have to rise above all of these things seriously you know sometimes to even be able to tap into that creativity but when you 
when you have that mindset and you're like, you know what? Nothing is going to stop me. Life, nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to embrace what I was created to do or what I have a purpose to do. Then it's like you're unstoppable. That's right. You really are. And you're fulfilled and you're happy. That is so true. Shalom, Nava, our beautiful sister and family. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, sis, how are you? Welcome to the Open Writers Show. Yes. We're so glad that you came on and that you're a part. And thanks, everybody, for joining in. That's right. We're talking about creativity or embracing and respecting creativity. That's right. Everybody has something unique. Mm -hmm. Unwrap it. We want to see. And the world wants to see. And we got so many stories, man. Like we purposely try to go out of our way to do creative things musically um, just to push ourselves. Because that's another thing, you guys, when you start uh, embracing, you know, your creativity and also respecting the creativity of others, it forces you to do different things. And uh, whether people understand it or not, that's not really your concern. I encourage you to experiment. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my music that I've come out with, my sister and I, has been just experimenting. Experimenting. That's why I have the record coming out called Freestyle Worship, because a lot of that is just humming melodies around the house and, hey, sis, think about this. And, you know, it's just like it's a free flow. Right. So I encourage you guys experiment more. Mm -hmm. if try, you know, try, try new things, you know, with with whatever your your um, creative call is or your purpose, just try try new things. You know, we, um, sis and I, we, you know, push ourselves also to just try different styles of music and, you know, just different melodies and just to see how th different things will sound. Right. You know? And we look up and we're like, wow, you know, we're glad that we did that. We're glad that we, you know. That we um, didn't stay in a box. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Boxes aren't fun. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're limiting. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's it's awesome. I mean, you know, you guys, some, sometimes these things are a process. It, this, this doesn't happen overnight, you know. And um, as long as you're around people that will push you and that will um, inspire you and that can just basically build you up that's so you important have, you have a much better chance a much better chance of you know reaching your potential so you know the and and there may be times too where you really have to just kind of press in and encourage yourself as well oh girl man yeah you're gonna have to do that yeah it's real talk you may have one or two you know it could be your husband your wife your mother you know what I'm saying so your brother, somebody you really close to, but outside of that, you got to do a lot of self encouraging, and that's why it's important to take time for yourself, right? Develop, develop, develop the ability to say no, because everybody gonna want you to do something at some point, mm -hmm. especially when you, you know, you really start, you know, walking into your purpose and kind of really finding out, you know what what you have to offer creatively to the world. Right. I mean, it's okay to say no. I'll share a story real quick. Go it's for it. Story. Take <laughs> so, your time. Take your time. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I, to be honest, I used to have a problem with that. What? I would, I would want to do everything, okay. you know, knowing that, um, you know, a big part of, my call is, you know, um, encouraging and singing and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you'll you get pulled on what the most high created you to be good at, you know? And so people will pull on me, mm -hmm. you know, Cam, can you do this? Can you sing at this wedding? Can you, um, you know, do this? And, and it really is an honor, you know, humbly, it's an honor. And you want to you want to be out there. You want to do that, especially when you're you're really first kind of coming into whatever your purpose is or whatever you were created to do. Right. Is, right. Well, I had to develop that gene like that. No gene, because I'm like, well, now, hold on. I'm starting to do. And I love my people. We love our people. Right. Uh, I'm starting to do it's, it's It was unbalanced. 
I'm doing way more for um, my brothers and sisters than I'm doing for myself. And like you're saying, we have to take care of ourselves. Yeah. And taking care of ourselves, you know, as we discover what our purposes are. Right. Um, could mean a transition or a shift. Well. Like, you know, always stay there. You know, I in that time, I recognize like, okay, there's a, a call. I need to kind of back away from, I used to do a lot of group singing and, and a lot of just stuff out and it was time for me. Y'all was trying to get me to be like, okay, mm. there's something I really want to do, you know, with you at this moment. You know what I mean? Not even just musically, but just inside. Right. And I have to say no to y'all. Mm. You know, not not in a, like a mean way or anything right. like that. That's all right. And, and some people understand and guess, but to be honest, some people don't. But you still have to keep it moving. And I'm right. so glad that I did that because now look at, you know, praise y'all, look at where I am and, and my sister. We're we're in ministry together, which is amazing. Right. If had I not taken that step, I wouldn't even be sitting here being in ministry with you. That's real. That's real. Yeah. You know, so be encouraged. You you know, sometimes you we have to say no to different things. Yep. Um, it but it can propel you into more greatness it can you know you, you are what you're supposed to be your your creativity is more defined because you're spending more time on yourself wow that's deep that's that's good sis yeah <laughs> it is so it all works out for a reason and like she said not everybody's gonna understand but it's okay you have to keep it moving you yes keep it moving and don't let anything stop you I wanted to read something too. You made me think of something. We're both reading this book, A Thousand Little Things, Happy, Successful, People Do Differently. And it reminded me, um, it's in this chapter. It's, it's really quick. Uh, it, it says, you must believe you can. You must find the place inside yourself where anything is possible. It starts with a dream. Add confidence and it becomes a belief. Add commitment. And it becomes a goal in sight. Add action and it becomes a part of your life. Add determination and time and your dream becomes a reality. And I just love that. It's so much there. It's so much. That's packed. Yeah. I mean. That is packed. Add the, confidence and it becomes, wow. It's kind of like you're learning as you're going. Right. With this thing. Yeah. Like it starts with the fact that you must believe that you can do that. So yes. it goes back to the, the mindset. Of, Faith. You know, when you actually, oh, go ahead, sis. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm juiced. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. <laughs> it starts with, with the with the mind. You know, if we can get, get that thing in our mind, and, you know, and in our hearts, then there's nothing that can stop us. And we might have roadblocks, though. I'm not. We're not saying that there won't be roadblocks. There will be, guys. But yeah. If, you, if your mindset is is like focused and locked in mm -hmm. on that thing, there's nothing, nothing that that is going to stop you from you know fulfilling your purpose. And you're not alone. I know it's hard to stay focused individually if you don't already have that gene, that determination gene, that gene that I'm not going to quit no matter what. That gene. If you don't really have that developed. It can be hard, but that's why we have to do it together. It's so much easier. Have accountability. Have my mom calls them uh, body buddies where, you know, if you say you're going to do something, you go into the gym three times a week, you're going to have somebody checking on you. Yeah. It's OK. It's all right. Accountability is actually strength. Right. So that you're not just wilding out, you know, doing just whatever you want to do. Yeah. You have gifts that you have to develop that Yah has given you. You are stewarding a talent. Uh, you have to be careful of how you use it. We're not going to do everything perfect. But because belief is such a thing that gets chipped away at every day through doubts and fears and hate and all this stuff, that we need each other to root each other on. We need each other to help build the confidence. That's why I tell my sister all the time. You know, and she does. She she tells me all the time. We always building each other up in the gifts, in you know spiritual matters, mm -hmm. emotional things. Um, 
Yeah, and and I mean, truthfully, nobody can do it on their own. You know, we can't do it. We can't do it. I mean, we do. We need each other. We need each other for encouragement because there's days, you know, we, we all have days where it's like, it's a little bit harder than it was maybe the following day or whatever. But if you have that accountability that you're talking about, um, and maybe some of you guys out there don't have the accountability to start, you know, start start asking for it. Start tune speaking that thing out. Start praying for that thing. I was going to say, just tune in weekly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, <laughs> we'll, we'll open up the phone lines. You know, you guys can talk to us in the chat. I never want you guys to feel like you can't talk to us. Um, you know, you can always call in, obviously, as long as it's related to the topic. You know what I'm saying? Because I know guys be like, oh, I can call in. I'm going to call in. Stay on topic. Guys. Stay on topic, Stay fellas. Up. Stay on topic. <laughs> but um, you guys can call in and, you know, chime in on the chat or whatever. We always want to make sure that you feel welcome to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and if um, you just recently tuned in too, we do have a website. Check out, we have, you know, speaking of like creativity and positivity and right. all that wonderful stuff, check out openwriter7.com. We have, um, you know, albums on there and just different things that will help to keep you encouraged and inspired yes. to move forward. Openwriter7.com. Yep. I, I'd also like to add, if you are interested in helping us further what the Most High Yah has given us to do musically and also for our children, because we really want to kind of turn a corner, still putting out great music for our families and our, our females, you know, and our kings, but also really shift to the, the, the direction of helping our children um, with positive uh, projects that have music related in them. Um, if you want to help get behind that, please, you can also go to openwriter7.com and you'll see right there how you can get involved, how you can partner with us monthly. And we really do appreciate it. Um, so I just wanted to add that while they're, you know, while you might want to go to the site after the show. Yeah. You can check that out too. We need more positivity for our our children and our kids, you guys. Y'all know. It, it is bad out here. I mean, I'm sorry. It's it's terrible for them. It, it really is. And, and we have such a passion to be able to to pour into them and to help 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 the babies their mindsets too. Mm -hmm. yeah. well you know this is a good question to ask you guys now is how would you like at some point um we were thinking about maybe adding content during the week to the open writer show so like saturday we just kind of like you know have a nice subject matter have call in you know, people call in in the chat, things of that nature. But during the week, we we're thinking of designated days, like for the children, like children's, um, like that children's show, literally, mm -hmm. like where you can have your kids like sit down and check it out and, you know, laugh, have the music and just that and just different topics during the week. Let us know if that is something that might be interesting to you if you have children, because we're really trying to focus on making sure that they have something different. We know there's other stuff out there for other nations, but there's not a lot of stuff for our children. So let us know if that's something that you guys might be interested in. You'd also tell us in the chat or you can call in. Oh, yeah. Either way. Don't so. forget, you guys, go ahead and call in. Call on in. Ring, ring. <laughs> Hello. Um, if you you know if you want if you want to talk to us or you have anything <laughs> to chime in or say you know regarding this broadcast, right? And hello um, to the people who have come in. Um, welcome mm -hmm. to the Open Writers Show. Welcome, welcome. We're so glad that you are here tonight. We're talking about embracing and respecting creativity. Yeah, and if you you know, I feel led to to share something my brother shared with me. And if you are uh, listening, OG, Black Gravity, what's going on with your brother? I always learn from my big brother. But he, uh, in terms of creativity and stuff, if you ever feel like you've kind of lost yourself yourself in the creativity department and you're like, man, you know, I don't even know where to where to kind of begin. Like life may, maybe got you down or maybe you started like trying to be trendy or something and you kind of lose yourself, right? 
Um, that's why our song Something Special is talking about the originality and going back to who you were created. You know what I mean? The original state. But um, if you ever lose your creativity or your authenticity and you kind of find like yourself not really knowing who who you are, what you're supposed to do with the, your gifts and things of that nature. He told me, go back to like one of your first projects. So for you that for me, that's an album, right? My first album that's going to give you the raw, the real. That's when I was like, he said, go back there and take the passion from that. So I'm telling you, you might have something. I don't know what it is exactly for you that you have to go back to. It could be a picture. It could be an event. It could be uh, an experience. It could be a lot of different things, but go way back to find yourself and then take the good from that and implement it into this new you now. And that's a way that you can find and kind of embrace your uh, creativity again. Exactly. Or going back to that, that's powerful. Or just going back to that thing that lit you up. Like that maybe you can't get to because life has. Mm, Try to stuff it out. Yeah. Like, because it's real. Life will try to suck different things mm. out of us to make us lose the passion for the things that we once were excited about. But go back to, go back, like you said, to go back to those things. Yep. Revisit those things. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, the fact that we're all here together. And I hate having to leave. Like, we only have a few minutes left. Um, well, really, we have about maybe... 10 minutes so if you guys um do you guys have anything that you would like to say add or anything talk to us now don't wait till yeah don't wait till the show the show get real 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 popular and then we ain't gonna be able to take calls right so while we're in our development stage which i love small beginnings Mm -hmm. beginnings. yep you have to learn to appreciate your small beginnings And be grateful because then the Most High God will enlarge your territory. He will. He will. I mean, just think about since a couple years ago, one more story. Oh, gosh. Um, Are you going to bring up the apartment or what? No, I'm just saying like how. (laughs) (laughs) We got so many stories. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, just how y'all was individually working on us in our mindsets to believe that you know because sometimes you just outgrow environments you guys Mm. outgrow um some of the things that and relationships and relationships and maybe you need to make a, a change but we just you know we decided to go for it decided to go for it and it landed us here praise y'all in a different state in atlanta um with a new start, with yes. you know, new fresh um, eyes. Yes. But you know, you you have those things in between that that you have to fight through. You know, and just be encouraged. Somebody might be going through that. Just be encouraged that it will all work out if you don't give in and you don't give up. That's real. You know? One day we'll have to share our story of how we even got to Atlanta. In this four bedroom, three bathroom house. That's a, that's a whole that's a whole uh, podcast, right? There. That is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nothing short. It really, it's nothing short of a miracle in the Most High God. That's why, you know, we were talking on our live feed the other day about being grateful as well. So, the spirit of like not being grateful for what He has done. That's like one of the spirits you just don't want to have. You don't want to adopt that. So if you catch yourself complaining or being ungrateful or something, because everybody want to go to another level. We all want to go. We want to soar, right? We want we want to do what we want. What we have to do for the most high in excellence and being grateful for where he has brought you is one way that you can really open up his heart. I mean, obviously, it's obedience. But I'm saying if you're being grateful and saying thank you, you know, he'll open up more things for you. So we we just want to encourage you also to be grateful for what you have, because I'd love for us to share that story, like maybe on a future podcast, mm-hmm. because that's a powerful uh, story. It, it is.
it's powerful, you guys. Just, you know, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't give up, um, and you just embrace the creativity that the Most High has given, He will lead and guide you to different things like that, mm -hmm. you know? And your creativity is going to be different. That's another thing we're trying to tell you guys. Look how creative the Most High Yah is. I'm was, just saying. I was just talking to one of my friends about that last night. Just how um, how vast, how vast he is. He's so very, <laughs> it's he's so, so true. very vast. He's, yeah, he's... He, he is definitely, you know, a man of faith. And, you know, we talk a lot about faith and belief and a lot of the popular things. And they are very important. But he wants to really show us more of who he is. Yes. As we embrace and respect the creativity that the original creativity that he's already put inside of us. That's so good. Yep. And when you see other people doing something questionable, not in like a crazy way, but like just like, what are they doing? What are they on? I don't understand that. Don't judge. Don't judge. They they just being they just experimenting like we all should do. They're just trying to they're just doing them. They're being who they are. Okay. We can't question what Yah gave one person and we don't look the way that I would do it. Well, guess what? You're not them. So we don't need to judge each other for the individual calls, the individual creativity. It's okay. Okay. There's no need to be jealous. There's no need to be envious. Um, yes, yeah. You're right. Since we're, you know, words and body language have so much power because honestly, we don't, know what people are going through nah. and it's a natural thing to think like you know well it's not necessarily like how i would do it or whatever but we don't know what that person has gone through we don't know their background maybe they're maybe they're just now getting their footing to even want to do something you know so exactly the time that you were talking about yeah earlier be kind to one another because and have compassion because we don't know and that person could be like a, a major blessing um, you know, in our lives, in your life, mm -hmm. down the line, and people will remember how they were treated. That's real talk. Well. Like, we don't know. That's real talk. You know? That's real talk. Yep. That's real talk. Embrace your creativity and respect others' creativity. And that is the message. Man, you guys, we love y'all. It's so awesome spending time with you. Uh, let us know, um, please. Let us know if you'd like to hear um, more content throughout the week, because eventually everybody has a vision, right? Everybody has a goal. And eventually we would love to be able to have uh, Monday through Friday programming and then just have the like the the, the standard open writer show where we take calls um, on Saturday. But we'd like to to get it to where there's children that have something you know, where we have a music day where we just play nothing but like cuts and, you know, we can have other artists sending our, their music uh, and we can play some positive stuff that you may, may not have heard before. Um, there's so, so there's a lot of different things, you know, tips and uh, things we want to share from our musical experience as well. So if you think it might be, you know, you might be interested or whatever, just definitely let us know. Because yeah. we want to get your feedback we and do. give you what you want. Exactly. I mean, just throw your ideas out there. You know, we will consider them and, and you know, look at them and say, you know, because we are here to serve you guys. Right. You know? Through our experiences, Through stories. Our... And, and music. Yep, and it's music. Always... <laughs> <laughs> such a, that's such a healing element. It is. To hear uh, you guys is in and even as an artist it's, mm. it's um it's healing it is healing we need more of it mm -hmm. you know and that's so that's why we always um they probably sound like a broken record but i'm we're always saying support what we're doing because what we're putting out is healing and encouragement but we can't do it by ourselves we're just two females right two powerful females but at the end of the day you know, mm -hmm. we right. need, everybody needs help, That's so male true. or female, no but how much work you put in, you know, you're right. 
and thank you. Um, shout out to the people who have actually um, <laughs> who have uh, given to our uh, our uh, Ko-Fi page. Mm -hmm. We love you guys and we appreciate it. And we promise it's much more to come. Yeah. But we're just, you guys, we are just getting started. Literally. Like, we, we are just getting started. We we haven't even done, like, shows in a major way yet. We're still getting our show set together. We're still getting our first video together. Like, all this stuff takes a lot of time. And it takes money. And it takes energy. And it takes focus. And when you have life and everything else, you have to be able to to, to compartmentalize things, but our priority, the reason why some things may seem like, dang, man, it's taking long to do this or it's taking long to do that, or maybe you guys don't feel that way. I don't know. But I look at it as, hey, we have to be okay first and then the ministry, right? Exactly. So taking care of our health. Taking care a... of ourselves. I was just thinking about that. Go, go ahead. I didn't oh, no, no, no. Out. Go ahead, Sissy. Yeah, I mean, because we can be doing that's the thing too even with the creativity we want to encourage you we know from experience you know you can be so heavily involved in the creativity that why are you looking at me no i'm, I'm looking <laughs> at myself <laughs> <laughs> are you, looking at me? <laughs> you don't want to get too involved that you don't that you don't you know that you don't have time for yourself you know make sure um all of us you know, myself, I, t I put my, take myself first mm. because I know sometimes I can, I can be going too, too hard too. I mean, I, I can really get into things. And be like the work, the work got to get done. And it's like, but you're yeah. undone. Yeah. Or in your mind, you're like, you know, I got to get this done. But your body is like, you, girl, you know, you need to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you need to sit down, lay down. And, you know, yeah. cut, cut that water on, you know, go to YouTube and, and cut on like a calming sea or cut on like, mm -hmm. um, you know, <laughs> some, some kind of nature or, birds or something that, and, and really meditate because we really need that, that time. Yes. We need that time, you know, um, just in the hustle and bustle of life. And as we're trying to fulfill our purposes, so take care, you guys take care of you. And we're learning that as well. So, mm -hmm. you know. We'll have some, um, this is an awesome discussion. We got to get on out of here. Um, but I wanted to say, I think uh, we're going to do some uh, giveaways as well. Um, I know that that first couple of months, our album released, you know, we had some giveaways and stuff like that, like free downloads of our album and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to be implementing a lot of different things as we go. But uh, again, we're at openwriter7.com. We're here every, for right now, we're here every week um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't miss out, you guys. We will be around, uh, y'all willing, next week too at 7 p.m. And it is, sis, I just want to say it is a blessing to serve with you, my friend. I feel the exact same way. I think we're going to be able to be a powerful team um, outside of music. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm grateful. And um, thank you, everybody, for joining in. Yes, Marty, uh, Nava, David, Michael L. We appreciate you guys. Roro. Just seen him pop in. Shalom, Roro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love our fellows and our sisters, our children. We just love our people and we know that we can do better and we will. So um, I think that's all. We didn't have any call -ins or, or guests or call -ins, uh this time, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys are just kicking back, listening, chilling, doing you, which is all good. Right. And remember, if you have anything that you want us to talk about in the show, let us know. Don't be shy, you guys. Don't be shy. <laughs> um, if you're just joining in, we were asking people, like, what would you like to see on the show? Right. And we mentioned, like, that we, you know, have a passion to do some things for the children and just some different things, like, each day. So just, you know, chime in. 
um, at your leisure. Some of you guys um, are friends with us on Facebook. If you want to get in contact with us that way, mm -hmm. um, that's fine too. That's right. And um, we're just happy, you know, to be here and to uh, be serving. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys next week too. Yeah. And I have something exciting to talk about next week as well. Right. So make sure you're following us on Facebook as well during the week so you can get your inspiration and your dose. We're at Open Writer 7 on Facebook. And, um, you know, we're always trying to post something to encourage people throughout the week just to keep our heads up. So make sure you're following us there. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a, a song that's coming on my album. I actually started with it. It's called Sanity because mm. everybody crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree. I think everybody has a little, a little bit of crazy. To be honest, we, ha we all have a little bit of crazy. That's why we uh, need our creator to help us. Yeah. Seriously. Yes. I, this song is definitely about uh, the Most High being our sanity. Because honestly, in this world, the way this world is, he's our only hope for keeping our minds. So I'm going to let you guys hear it. Um, and I'm going to try to put the mic up close to the uh, the speaker. Because the re the, we're doing it live, so you're not going to hear, like, the crisp. But I'm going to try to bump this so y'all can hear this. Have a little bit of music. I got it. Yep. I got it, sissy. All right, hold on. Let's see. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the song. It's an amazing song. Uh, my sister's getting ready to put out a, an, album. an album of freestyle worship album so it's a little bit of uh just looseness mixed in with worship a little something for everybody and that's uh this is the song that's being played all it's right here we go <laughs>